is up everybody? I'm no Lex Given and today I am going to be showing off a recent game of Hearthstone Battlegrounds where I played as Jandis and I wanted to show this game off because it is just textbook Jandis. You'll see why as the game progresses, but it's basically exactly what you want to do when you pick Jandis in Battleground. So the first thing first, I get an Alley Cat, which is just really good with Jandis's hero power. It allows you to swap it out, rebuy the Alley Cat, and make another token, and then you can start tripling your token. So I'm going to go ahead and just use Jandis immediately on this first turn. That way my Alley Cat becomes a slightly better unit, and I can potentially even win this first combat. Uh, this game is during the previous patch, so before the big minion update, but none of the minions that I wind up taking, I don't think, wind up um, leaving the game. Uh, so Alley Cat would have won in this scenario regardless, but if they had used their blood gem, then I only would have won because I had swapped out uh, the Alley Cat. Uh, so then on this second shop, I actually get another token generator. So I'm just going to be making tons of tokens, which is really insane with Jandis. And I am, I don't believe going to use my hero power because more than likely I would just be swapping that 3-1 with a 1-1. One, one. So don't really want to do that. Just going to level to have good gold efficiency. Next turn I can sell my 3-1 and buy both of the token generators and then we'll see what I can do from there. But going to be trying to swap those in and out and triple some minions wherever I can. Uh, so like I said, we haven't really seen any yet, but you might start to see some old minions that have rotated out. Uh, as I'm recording this, the new set has just dropped, uh, so I'm not even super familiar with all of the new cards. Um, and, oh, that's right, I'm actually going to uh, swap this Alley Cat, and I actually get the Murloc in, um, in its wake there. So now I'm just going to, I believe, sell this Quillbore. And I'm going to pick up another Quillbore, actually, because if I triple the Alley Cat, then I lose two one ones on the board. Um, so that's not really going to get me too much of anywhere. And I am going to go ahead and use the Blood Gem just to make sure I've got a decent board. I'm playing against somebody that has already won a combat. So I want to try to keep my board a little bit strong here and definitely keep locking that Alley Cat. Um, but yeah, it just took a little while for me to find the time to be able to record this. I am going to be able to win this combat yet again. So we are now first place on the leaderboard. Uh, so that's pretty sweet. That's not really necessary. You can, you can suffer some health here as you are kind of kind of leveling up your team. Uh, then I'm going to uh, swap out my Murloc so that I can rebuy the Murloc here. And um, that was probably the, the best thing that I could have swapped the Murloc into, though either of those two other things there on the battlefield are fine, the Acolyte or the, or the Selemental. Um, but yeah, I just haven't been able to find the time to record this, but I thought it was a really sweet game. Um, because it's actually been a little bit that since I've played this game, the commentary is almost going to be like live commentary a little bit because I really forget what happens as we move on to the later stages of this game. So um, I know the overall um, path and things, but and, and I know one or two of the sweet moments, um, but exactly how it all plays out uh, is a little bit shaky in my memory. Um, so looks like, oh, that's a really good hit, but we're still going to lose this combat. If, yeah, if we went, now, nah, yeah, there was, there was no way we were going to kill either of these two things here. So uh, we're going to take our first damage of the match and drop down to 35. So we are out of top four now. Uh, for the first time, taking our first damage. So really, that is not too bad. Um, I have the exact 
health here to be able to buy something and level up. Uh, so let's see if I level and then buy the Tide Hunter and then play the Alley Cat. I will actually have to sell something to play the Alley Cat. Um, so that's not super ideal. So I believe what I'm going to do here is just level next turn and then maybe sell off some stuff and then grab a five cost unit or a, a level five unit. Um, everything costs three. But I think that is the plan. So I've been having a ton of fun with Battlegrounds recently, and my schedule is still a little all over the place, but I do think, as I horribly lose this combat here, I do think I am going to be able to find the time to stream some Battlegrounds. So what I've been thinking recently is I don't want to commit super hard to any schedule just yet, but I do think I am going to be trying to stream some Battlegrounds as well as some Storybook Brawl on Twitch. So if you want to watch me play any of these games live, make sure to check me out at twitch.tv slash nolexgiven. And I believe here I am going to take the Razor Gore. Um, Faceless Tavern Goer isn't really great for me right now because I don't have a build path. And this at least points me in a direction. Uh, then I'm going to play the Tide Hunter, and I believe I'm going to hero power the Tide Hunter and rebuy it. Sounds good. So now I have yet another triple, and I can decide what I want to do with that in a moment. Um, but yeah, a Razor Gore to start off with. I will probably, I'm not sure if I will try to level because. I do need to make my board better. I just have a bunch of 1-1s, one so I do need to start thinking about something else that I can do. Um, but yeah, that's why it was good to grab the Tide Hunter and the Alley Cat. Um, it allowed me to start working on the Tide Hunter and just hang on to that Alley Cat um, as I could. And the, the Razor Gore is going to be enough that I actually win this combat against Zephyrus yet again and knock them down to 13. Uh, and then we see another alley cat here. So I do think that I wind up, yeah, I buy this alley cat and I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to find the space for this alley cat and everything. But if I sell both of these, I can actually level and that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab an upgraded um, Murloc token and then grab a tier six unit. And none of these things are super great for me right now. Um, Amalgadon's fine. Uh, I'm just going to throw out the Amalgadon for stats. And I get Divine Shield, so I can actually make this a perfect Amalgadon and grab it, um, uh, but give it Poisonous at some point. Um, this is still where Poison Fin is in. Uh, so I'm going to, I believe, rebuy, sell, sell off this Alley Cat and make another Tabby Cat for myself. So that way I can get another upgrade next turn. Um, the big thing about the Amalgadon is it will start bumping the Razor Gore. Um, but also if I can get a Poison Fin, then we can have a Divine Shield Wind Fury Poison Minion. So that is pretty good here. Um, for, for where we're at in the game. A lot of these people are going to be outscaling me right now, but hopefully we can pick up some more beefy dragons and start giving it back to them. Uh, so definitely going to be losing these combats. Um, these tabby cats are not going to be good against the first place person in the lobby. So we're going to lose a little bit more here, down to 15 and then hopefully we can start getting in some wins. Uh, so we actually have a Murazond here. I do believe that I pick that up. I don't think that I play it though. I'm trying to think of what my opponent was just playing. They were playing a bunch of Quillbore. Oh, so I am going to go for it here just to put another dragon on the battlefield, I believe is the goal there. Um, then I'm gonna grab an alley cat and I am going to do one more upgrade with the guy, these guys. Then I'm probably done with the alley cats. That has been 
uh, a bunch of alley cats for me this game, and especially when I find a Hamul. So this is probably the best strategy that you can do with Jandis is to triple a bunch of tokens in the early game, and then whenever you get a chance, you are switching to Hamul. Uh, playing this a little bit slowly here, potentially, but uh, when you get a chance, you switch to Hamul. I'm gonna pump up the Amalgadon, and we're pumping up the Razor Gore a bunch now, just with a bunch of dragons. And now I'm going to be able to uh, start rolling for a bunch of dragons and replaying that Hamul multiple times in a given turn. So. That is the plan here now. That second half of the board is probably going to be sold off. That was a pretty good use of our taunt there. And let's see how far this Razor Gore can go. We're doing good work with our cheaper minions here. Oh, if that went the other way, we actually could have not quite won the combat, but still, still done pretty okay. Um, but we're going to take eight points here down to seven. So if we lose one more combat, we are going to lose the whole thing. So now it is time to kick it into high gear. No. Okay. I'm going to level. Uh, so I level so that way I can grab some tier six dragons because there are some really powerful tier six dragons. Uh, but we do get to grab the razor gore and I believe that's all I'm going to grab is, uh, oh, I am going to first potentially try to luck into the Razor Gore. Um, but no, we're just going to buy the Razor Gore. And then I think I'm just going to sit um, because the other play would be to sell off both of my Divine Shield units, which will get the bump buff because of Amalgadon. So I probably just want to hang on to them. Um, yeah, so I don't think I'm going to do anything here. Just lock the board. Next turn, we're going to buy Hamul, sell probably our 4-4, four four, and then we can hopefully try to buy some sweet stuff in the shop. So as long as we don't lose this combat, which we very well could, we're not super strong, but we will be able to hold our own with any mid-tier minions that our opponents are playing. So... We'll see how that goes. Spoiler alert, I know that I am going to win this battle. Um, though I don't know, maybe I could maybe I could lose a battle and take, well no. Yeah, if I lose a battle to a tier six player, I lose. But Gallancrown doesn't really level, so I could probably lose to Gallancrown and take like six, potentially, if they're like level three with a level three unit. They've got a, a few level three units, but a few level five units there as well. But it looks like we are going to be okay. Our dragons are growing big enough that they are going to be able to take down our opponent. And one of the sweet things about playing dragons is when you deal damage, you deal a lot of damage. So there you go, 25. If you weren't sure we were going to win that battle, we absolutely crush our opponent there. I get a Nadina as the bonus minion in this shop, which is just insanely lucky um, because everything else that we're going to see for the rest of the game basically is going to be dragons so to spike a random Nadina is just huge so I am going to uh, run that out there and then we see a chance for a triple on some dragons uh, so I am just going to buy that that's interesting because I could just hero power for it and I'd be at decent odds to hit it, and then I could keep the Hamul, but we are just going to go for the triple there, and I actually grab another Hamul. Uh, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, I do want to make use of my hero power, so I am going to use the hero power now, and then I exchange it for a 5-5, five five, and then I'm just going to lock my board, and I'll throw the Nadina right after my Amalgadon there, uh, so that way the Amalgadon can break open its divine shield now we're playing against the opponent that just dealt eight damage to us and is in first place in the lobby so this could be the end of our game here but hopefully this nadina will be enough to live right now um, so the um, poison hits one of our weaker units and then all of our units grab a divine shield. Uh, so that winds up being super clutch for us. We do lose two of our razor gores, but we still deal a ton of damage to my opponent, 17, dropping them down to 21. And we're still in last place, but I'm feeling 
uh, a whole lot better now that we are able to get that win. So let's sell off this dragon, let's buy Hamul, and then let's start playing Hamul's. Um, I'm just taking one additional look over the board. I am going to buy that dragon. That is a little bit interesting, but I guess I figure I'm going to get to play uh, two of the cards on this board here. Uh, and I'm just going to sell this Hamul because I know that I have another one in my hand. And then I see a double dragon, the, uh, the, the 412 there. So that is really great. Now, whenever I play a unit with Battlecry, all of my dragons get a bonus. And I've got a pretty good battle cry minion to play, and that is Hamul. So I'm basically just going to be trying to play Hamul at every instance that I can and pumping up my team and grabbing more dragons. Uh, so we can definitely lock this board. This board is super strong, and my Razor Gores are now getting plus five, plus five a turn, so they're growing pretty well, and my Amalgadon is a dragon, so even though I have not given it poisonous, and at this point I'm not gonna look for poisonous, I'm just going to buy some dragons every turn, uh, it is still going to be a Divine Shield Wind Fury minion that is going to grow a bunch every turn as I continue to play a bunch of dragons. So there we go. That's like a perfect combat for us. We get really good hits. Uh, we do lose one of our dragons to poison, uh, but this is still a whole bunch of damage to our opponent, and that's going to be enough to take out Cthune. So now we've defeated the top two players in the lobby, and um, they, they're actually both out. And now um, we've just got some other guys to clean up here. So we should be able to do it. We see another Hamul off the uh, triple there, so that's pretty great. And then I think I'm just going to sell the Hamul that I have. Yeah, let's just sell it. Let's play another Hamul, give our team a little bit of a bonus. And now the 4-4 uh, Taunt's looking pretty good, but I can also just rebuy Hamul. Oh, Steward of Time was the best thing to roll into there. That's right, I am just going to go... Oh no, I do grab the 2-5. The That's right, that's what I'm saying. It's it's like I'm watching it live here because I don't remember any of these plays. It's been a little bit. Um, I also will say that right after this game, and small spoilers for my next YouTube video, make sure you subscribe because in my next YouTube video, I actually get the spicy golden pretzel with mustard achievement. There's no golden, just spicy pretzel with mustard achievement, which is win a game of Battlegrounds while winning every single round. So that video is a lot of fun. And that's what's going to be coming to the channel next. So make sure to subscribe and make sure to check out my Twitch stream as well. And I'll have a link for that in the video description below, but it's twitch.tv slash nolexgiven. And there you can watch me play all these games live. Um, so as much as this game was textbook Jandis, the Nadina that I just picked up randomly really has been just super clutch. The Divine Shields for my whole team here, able to take out another player, and now it is us against Zephyrus, which is our old rival, and uh, we'll just we'll just pick up some Murazons. I believe I should... Um... Oh, okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy the Murazons first, then swap that boy, then buy the Hamul, and we'll see if we get any other sweet dragons here. We are able to buy one more dragon, um, but it's not really going to matter because we are... Oh, we'll actually be able to buy two more dragons. Um, so I'll just do a, a little refresher there. I guess I could buy the one, two. Um, maybe I'll buy the... No, I don't really want to buy the one, three either. Um, there's like, I don't know, different things you could you could tech into potentially here. Um, I'm just going to give my Amalgadon a little bit more health. That's right. All battle cries that I play give my whole board um, plus three, plus three. So I guess that's good as anything, right? Yeah, just play just play a few more battle cries and then 
I'll end on a Murloc leader, give my Amalgadon an additional plus to attack. Um, but this should be it here. My board is looking pretty beefy now. Three units that, actually four units that are 50 health, one with a Divine Shield, and then everything's going to get an additional Divine Shield. Now we've got something with 70 and something with 60 health now as well. Um, so yeah, there you go. There's that Amalgadon doing a bunch of work. That Cleave is going to kill off some of our smaller units and then we have a bunch of 50 health units with divine shield so that battle is going to clean up very nicely and yeah that's basically how i would say you play textbook jandis just look for those tokens in the early game which are still available in the current edition of the the available minions in hearthstone battleground and then uh, try to roll a Hamul in the late game, and that works really well for Battlecry Dragons and having a huge snowball late game. So I hope that that was fun to watch, and like I said, I will be planning on re releasing more Hearthstone Battlegrounds content in the future, as well as Storybook Brawl. And I'll just say it again, you can catch me live at twitch.tv slash given. But that's going to be it for me for this video. Until next time, when you get to see my spicy pretzel with, with mustard, I'm no given. Peace.